Anyone caught dealing in dollars at the black market could now be jailed for up to five years. You'd also be given a hefty fine. This is the latest in a series of measures the government hopes could curb the informal market. All previous measures did not end the crisis. The government placed a $50,000 cap on transactions and it didn't work. They raised the cap to $250,000 and still didn't solve the problem. And finally, they cancelled the cap completely. It didn't solve the problem too. I think the new law will yield results. The law is yet to be ratified by the Assembly, but the Forex market had not been affected by the news. The American currency is still rising. The dollar is 8.8 .8 Egyptian pounds in banks, but over 11 pounds outside. Businessmen say its effects are far-reaching. As long as the supply of hard currency is low and demand is high, then prices will increase, so of course the price has increased considerably. The increase in dollar value has raised prices of all products in the market too. The latest law to curb the dollar surge is commendable, but experts say there must be more reforms as well to increase demand on the Egyptian pound. The latest decisions by the government to ban the import of luxury items was good and it saved a lot of dollars in our reserves. We should try to create demand for the Egyptian pound. We have to develop the tourism. Swiss Canal revenues, for example, could be in Egyptian pounds. The state has to think out of the box to support the demand for the Egyptian pound. The government hopes that stringent legal action against traders will be vital in eradicating the black market. But this will be evident once the law is ratified by Egypt's parliament. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.